Hi everybody, we're on day two of whole grain starter feeding. Um, so, and this is my daughter Dilara hanging out with me. And actually today, I'm sporting a uh, little bit something from her. I really love this vintage looking, um, what is it, armband, bracelet. <laughs> and then she made a little clay thing uh, with the initial B. It's not my name. My name is Hazen, but B stands for uh, Baba, basically, which means in, father. Yeah, in Turkish. All right. Well, so let's talk starter. So this is our starter from yesterday. So you can see this was 100 grams of rye flour, freshly milled whole grain rye flour, and 100 grams of very warm water. And overnight, I kept it in the proofer at about uh, 90 degrees. So you can see... It has some life to it. Last night, it didn't look like it has moved much, but this morning when I got up, it was already up here, which is great. Uh, so today, what we're going to do is, and, I, and as you will see in the starter schedule table, I'm, uh, that's going to be part of this video, and I will have photos of it too. Uh, today, we're going to do 50 grams of this starter, uh, 100 grams of uh, warm water again, not as warm as yesterday's, and um, 100 grams of flour, so 50% inoculation, and we're gonna let that go for another 24 hours. So we have some good activity. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna open this up and kind of smell it too. Ooh, um, there's definitely some smell to it. What do you think, Dilara? Mm -hmm. What is what does it smell like? All like. Olives, all right. That's yeah, actually, yeah. I can I can smell olives in there, which is good. It's a sign of activity. And um, so what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna uh, take another spoon. I know the I have my scale here. I know the tear weight of this um, container, which is 17 grams. So I want to have a total of 67 grams. In here, um, let's see. Um, so yeah, zero, two hundred and nine, and I'm gonna put the waste starter into um, another container right here. Let's see. In here, you can see what it looks like. I always have a hard time uh, with my right and left. Yeah, there you go. All right, so you can see what it looks like. It's totally broken down, which is good. So I'm gonna fish it out to make it 67 grams. Let's see what that is. More. More. Just a little more. So yeah, it smells like olives. Maybe not so in a pleasant way, but I can tell there is fermentation going on. Um, and then the other thing is I can tell you that there's no sour smell to it. And when this is like fully active and going as a starter, which means that it will st leaven your bread and it will add a lot of flavor. Uh, it should have that strong sour smell, especially given this kind of uh, ferment uh, fermentation times and temperatures. So 67 grams, which is uh, basically 50 grams of uh, last night's starter. Um, so now, Didara, if you can bring me the kettle, please. Okay. We're gonna add some warm, warmish water. Um, can I have it, please? Thank you. So let's see, 100 grams of lukewarm water. I'm shooting for 80, 85 degrees uh, temperature, basically. Uh, when I make this. Hundred grams. There you go. That's it. That's in the back. Um, 
So now, Dilara, you're gonna help me add. You're gonna help add 100 grams of flour into this. That's okay. Let's put this away. All right. Mm -hmm. More. Other thing I want to say that this starter feeding thing can be a great activity for little kids especially if they see it growing and they can get their all uh, hands sticky and wet and they can get used to this feeling. Um, and it can be actually, if they get used to it, it can be so easy actually to start making bread too. All right, let me see. Just a little more. That's 95, just less than that. All right. Just a little more. Yep. All right, we're good. That's 100 grams of flour. So I'm going to dig in again with my hands. All right. And give it a good stir. Such. And tomorrow, we're going to switch over to making it a little stiffer. I'm going with 100% hydration to start out with. And yesterday I was even thinking like, oh, maybe I should have done it even more liquid. Um, the thing is when it's a little more liquid, um, it, um, it, there's, there, there can be more enzyme activity breaking down the complex starches into sugars, which uh, the yeast and bacteria actually love eating. Uh, that's what they feed on. So... I'm giving it a good stir as you guys can see and I'm gonna put the uh, rubber band on again mmm yes olive smell it's right in there oh I love the feeling of rye it can be so sticky but I don't know there's something satisfying about it if you guys have never made 100% rye breads, I would strongly recommend it. The flavors are unmatched. You can't get anything close to it uh, with wheat, actually. So rye is one of those underappreciated, but one of those really hearty, um, uh, hearty uh, grasses out there, and it tastes awesome. Once you get used to working with it, it can be so satisfying and so rewarding. All right, I have a little bit of napkin. Um, no, I don't need a napkin. I'm gonna close the lid of this. Would you like to put the rubber, rubber band. band around it right here, Dilara? Mm -hmm. All right. There's our starter, day two, 100 grams of flour, 50 grams of the starter from yesterday's feed, which seemed active, smelled like olives. So there's some good activity going on. And today, warmish water, uh, ideally 8085. And I'm gonna put this back in my proofer uh, and set the temperature to, I don't know, somewhere between 80 and 85. I have another wheat starter going in there, so I don't want that to get too hot but I think that should do the work. And I will keep track of it, and I will report back tomorrow. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Bye.